Hi, this is Postman, and today I'd like to walk you through the track a Hologram Worship, which was released on the Rights of Calling EP on Autolectuals. It was also featured on the Shive Light uh, Global Bass Music uh, promotion channel, Ooh, and I'd like to shout out Aryan for that. Um, I think the track is rather simple. Uh, it's also the in the story the right of uh, community and to explain that I'll just tell you the story Alex and his friends come back victorious to their village the supplies gathered from the engine stealing will come in handy and the essence harvested will appease the harvesters and replenish the vigor of the villagers the day after, the young ones gather for the next challenge, the right of community. The town elder, grandfather of Ray, guides them to the resting grounds. Here, their ancestors lie buried, though not completely dead. Their spirit lives on in their essence, buried with them. People of tribes can summon their spirit to ask for guidance, to see their loved ones once again until their essence is completely depleted. Their connection to the rings and the harvesters is lost. Now, Alex, Ray and Dao must learn how to summon their ancestors in their pursuit of their calling. I think the track is a rather, uh, rather has a positive tone, uh, or actually more positive than some of my other tracks. Uh, also, it's more introspective and uh, really has a meditative side to it. Um, it's kind of repetitive in a, a good kind of way. Uh, it's definitely electronic, but not so in your face. As um, it's kind of uh, not tries to break the immersion from the uh, global slash folky slash tribal aspect of it. Okay, let's go through the track. So here's the project file. Nothing really special here. Uh, so the intro is quite obvious. This uh, violin brings kind of loop. And uh, with this melodic loop, I kind of use the um, the reiteration technique uh, that I used in almost all of the tracks on the EP so you take a loop and you rehash it and all uh, and it was a electronic violin kind of loop uh, which I uh, dropped into let me see if I find it yeah um hmm. yeah regroover pro it's supposed to be on a midi channel okay so what regroover pro or regroover does is you load in a sample into it and then it splits it into several parts or stem uh according to an AI kind of neural network kind of process. Um, and with this, I just dropped the set uh, sample. So, what is this one? Yeah, Oop. we'll analyze it. And then split it in uh, several stems. Um, note that. Mm, I think this plugin is definitely more meant to be used for um, drum material, drum samples, percussion samples, uh, not really for a uh, whole uh, tonal uh, loops, but here it kind of works. Definitely has that um, grainy slash spectral sound to it, but it didn't bother me that much. Because I, I uh, had the luck to just kind of uh, wash that texture away with some external processing. So here on the first loop, for example, 
used something I called the texture machine, which is just a delay with a, an OTT after it, I guess. I just yeah, just immense gaining uh, and limiting, which brings out all the artifacts into the feedback uh, from the feedback of the delay. Uh, here on another part, I bit reduced it and it went to an OTT and then through a delay. So it really kind of accentuates that grinding of the the bow on the string, I guess. Here it's classic combo of reverb and echo. And here I just ac accentuated the uh, tonal uh, qualities of it uh, with a resonator through the uh, ambient machine device. Uh, so I gated it first to clip out the uh, silent parts and give it some more tonality with the resonators. Which I faded out uh, later in the song, uh, later in the section. Okay, uh, I also reiterated, reiterated uh, another loop, a more percussive one. This, I think it's this one. Yeah, that's the normal loop. Yeah, kinda um, bossa, bossa nova kinda loop. Then I, I stretched it, pitched it up, grain stretched it, yeah, just plain stretched it with yeah complex thing, I guess yeah the complex um, yeah warp mode, and here uh, just tuned it down, yeah, and. All together, they form like a really textural, cool kind of loop. It really sounds like a full uh, band of drummers uh, or percussionists drumming together, which again adds to the tribal feel, I guess. Okay, then there's some chants here and there. Whoop. Yeah, just to, to add some movement and all, and some immersion some song painting and then there's the drop uh, which is kind of minimal I guess oh before we get to the drop I uh, took the original sample and converted it into MIDI and then it's uh, playing this through a scale device this kind of acoustic guitar plucky thingy in serum doesn't sound at all like a guitar but it's definitely plucky and has that organic feel to it yeah so again it's like fake acoustic kind of deal so a uh, sample of an acoustic guitar being strung and that same wave table uh, action going on here going to a reverb filter and whatnot okay then the drop uh, main elements are the percussion and the bass Bass is just a fat, detuned bass, booming along, being sidechained by the kick. Uh, I'm boosting the bass with the R bass plugin, and then some bass snippets here and there. Adding texture, the kick, quite uh, boomy and hard. So uh, with two layers. Yeah, quite hitting really strong. And here a sub layer with uh, some top end together. And they, they really have like that Taiko ish impact, I guess. Yeah. Uh, then along the way, some claps are being introduced. I think that's the only section uh, featuring claps. And those claps. Yeah, now the standard claps, more percussive kind of stuff, all being drenched in reverb uh, and uh, accentuated with some foley. 
like some kind of fade in for for collapse of snares and foley fade ins and then here's some uh, tribal sounding loops uh, like here and here yeah this one is kind of glitchy and watery <laughs> Yeah, and this one is really being filtered a lot just to, to help it fit into the mix and fill the mix a bit further uh, yeah I guess that's it uh, also later on in the drop I'm adding a growly bass just a serum preset okay like you can see a vellum uh, preset uh, yeah kind of like uh, bass house kind of sound also drenched in reverb being gated so there's also a droned out uh, sample here so it's the, the one of the uh, extracted stems from the original violin loop uh, that I, yeah, I put it through uh, the ambient machine, accentuating the root notes and uh, adding some reverb to it. Okay, uh, then there's the break, which is kind of bringing new melodic material to the mix, another uh, melody uh, arrangement harmony. So here's the main sound. I think it's kind of a uh, flute thing going on here and here's some harmony done by a virtual cello and violin yeah. and the violin is quite more convincing convincing and here's a kind of harp thingish yeah, actually acoustic guitar thingish again all same for all these these serum patches so it's kind of a mix between organic uh, material and the noise oscillator then that same sample run through or uh, converted to wavetable and being processed processed in different ways which makes it kind of sound in between organic and synthetic okay then there's the second loop a uh, second drop and here uh, the, uh, the original loop gets featured uh, I did some uh, yeah auto pitching on it uh, so uh, kind of auto tune on it just because it sometimes was slightly off uh, then some processing with unfiltered audio spec ops actually i think it's just freezing it here and there yeah yep. helping with transition uh, transitions and so on okay uh, and in the second drop it's quite more uh it's quite the same as the first drop it's just more melodic material uh being stacked on top of each other with the chance of Just coming to a, a climax of the so-called rise, if you want to paint it like that. Yeah, we have some a small arp, and that's about it for this track. If you like the video, please leave a like. If you want to subscribe, please do so. Give the EP a listen, and I'll see you for the next one.